Okay, so I once thought that I could not do any handiwork, but my husband showed me that installing floor is easy. We watched a couple of YouTube tutorials and we were able to figure out how to do it by ourselves. So he is upstairs taking care of the kids, so I'll show you a little bit of how to install um, a luxury vinyl tile wood flooring. Okay, so what you need is definitely knee pads because you're going to be on your knees a lot. Um, Peter. So a shop vac. Before you start any work, you need to vacuum the floor really good to make sure it's no residue. We are installing luxury vinyl flooring on um, concrete in the basement. Um, you also need a tile cutter. Here is our tile cutter. We got it from Home Depot. As you can see, I'm installing it. My daughter's calling me right now. But, um, and that's pretty much all we needed besides a marker where we marked off before we cut the tile. So, so far I've staggered the flooring. So I started with a full piece of tile. So I started with a full length and then you just go down in steps. So I would cut, let's say this off and then the next um, piece I would cut this off. And that's how you start the corners um, and the edges. But you wanna make sure that there's space between the wall, both sides of the wall in the corner so you can install quarter round or trim to make sure that you have space for that. Since I already cut the boards down the last time, I'm gonna start with a full piece and I'm gonna lay it in there. Um, when it's locked in, you can't see a seam. And it should be lay flat. My next board, I'm going to cut it because as I said before, you want to really stagger it in. So I do want to cut a little piece off to kind of stagger it. In. Hold it down, cut it. So once it's correctly installed, shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to see the seam. Um, I'm going to take another board, cut it down again, and then I'll start laying them. So we need this edge. So we, when we cut, we need to make sure this edge is gone instead of this one because it's going to be locked in place on that edge. So this one broke off a little crooked, but it doesn't matter because it's my edge piece, so that's fine. We'll start laying it in again. So I'm gonna lock this edge in, and then pretty much I just try to push it in to lock in from the top. There you go. Okay. That's pretty much how you lay it. Thanks for watching me. I know I'm a bit unkept right now, but this is how I look when I'm installing floors. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or need any help, I'm here for you. So let me know what I can do.